Welcome to Innovonics Training 101. This training is designed to provide you with a high-level overview of Innovonics products. Several factors must be considered to implement an effective EchoStream commercial mesh network. This training provides the information necessary to answer the following questions. What types of end devices are needed for your system? Which type of network communication is necessary for your system? Which RF receiver, gateway, or data logger does this system require? How many end devices will be used in this system? Where will the end devices be located? And are high power repeaters needed? Let's start by differentiating commercial wireless from other wireless technology. Innovonics was formed over 30 years ago with our C series of devices back in 1986. After our C-series of devices, we launched our Frequency Agile products in 1994, designed to operate in broadcast mode only. Just over a decade later, we moved to our Echo Stream line of products, expanding from broadcast mode, adding in directed messaging and enhanced interface immunity. Innovonics Wireless's devices operate between 868 and 928 MHz, depending on your region. This range all operates within that red box on the electromagnetic spectrum. The only difference between all of these radio waves within that box are frequency and wavelength, which plays a large factor in how they operate in different environments. This spectrum is subject to change based on the region with which you operate within. In the United States and Canada, we operate from 902 to 928 megahertz. In the European Union, we operate at 868 MHz, and in Australia and New Zealand, we operate within 915 and 928 MHz. When it comes to understanding the importance of range, you need to understand the components and characteristics of a wireless system and how different the physical attributes can affect the system. Let's start with range. Since commercial wireless operates on a lower frequency, it does not require as much power to broadcast our signal as Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Because of this, we can offer a device with significantly larger range than either of them. Anytime you are using a wireless device, there can be some challenges involved. For instance, physical objects might reflect or absorb some of that signal. Materials that will cause very little to no loss to our transmission are wood, glass, air, plastic, and drywall. Whereas metal, wire mesh, grating, chain link fence can reflect some or all of that signal. And vegetation, earth, brick, concrete, humans, and animals can absorb some of that signal. These factors play a significantly large role when it comes to installing wireless in a residential versus commercial environment. Since commercial buildings tend to be made of a lot more metal and concrete than your standard residential home, you need to use a wireless signal capable of penetrating or working around those obstacles. Commercial wireless operating in the 900 megahertz range has a significantly smaller wavelength than residential wireless in the 300 megahertz band. This allows us to pass through obstacles such as rebar and concrete, as our wavelength is roughly the size of baseball. Compare that to the basketball-sized wavelength of residential wireless, which gets reflected off of the metal within the concrete. Another challenge can be RF noise and interference. Commercial wireless allows us to operate on a spread spectrum as opposed to a narrow band. And when using frequency hopping spread spectrum, we are broadcasting simultaneously across multiple channels. This way, if there is some kind of RF noise causing interference on one channel, our signal is still able to communicate with its receiver through another. You can think of this like driving a car down a one-lane road as opposed to a multi-lane highway. If something is blocking that one-lane road, you cannot move around it. But on a multi-lane highway, you can just switch lanes to avoid the obstacle. Now let's discuss receiver sensitivity. Data rate plays a large portion for receiver sensitivity. As you can see on this chart, commercial wireless does not provide 
a large data rate. It is not capable of sending large packets of information like photos or videos like you can with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or cellular data network, but this provides an advantage to us. Receiver sensitivity is adversely affected by bandwidth requirements. Higher bandwidth equals more RF spectrum needed, which in turn reduces receiver sensitivity. This means that while the receiver is listening to the data being communicated from one transmitter, it must use more of the spectrum to hear another communication from another transmitter. So by communicating smaller amounts of data, our receiver is able to hear more transmissions without using more of the RF spectrum. Let's now discuss battery life. Commercial wireless can offer a significantly larger amount of battery life compared to Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular due to its frequency on the electromagnetic spectrum. Because we use a lower frequency, we can offer longer battery life with less energy. This allows our transmitters to operate for years on a single battery compared to some of those other wireless products that require line power to operate for long periods. What are repeaters and how can they benefit your system? Not only are repeaters great for expanding your coverage over large distances, they can also be a great tool to navigate around physical obstacles that might be causing interference, such as a safe, ATM, MRIs, or large HVAC systems. Our transmitters can already offer a significant amount of range, 25,000 square feet inside standard commercial buildings, but our repeaters provide the ability to create a dedicated commercial mesh network to cover even our largest of installations, offering a coverage range of 50,000 square feet in your average commercial buildings. There are two kinds of network communications in an EchoStream commercial mesh network, broadcast and directed messaging. When using broadcast messaging, each end device sends out multiple copies of each message, and every repeater in range rebroadcasts multiple copies of that message. Every repeater not in range of the end device originating the message, but in range of the rebroadcasting repeaters, also rebroadcasts multiple copies of the message. If the serial receiver is in range of the end device, it also immediately passes the message to your application controller. This is a great redundancy in most installation types. Then we have directed messaging. Using directed messaging network, each repeater maintains a list of neighboring repeaters that are closer to the network coordinator than it. When a repeater receives a message from an end device, it transmits the message to a neighboring repeater on its list, which then transmits the message to one of its neighbors, and so on. To the network coordinator. This forms the most efficient path for the message to take to reach the network coordinator. This is designed for those extremely large installations, for example a senior living installation with thousands of transmitters and potentially hundreds of repeaters. Having a wireless product that is FCC approved, offers frequency hopping spread spectrum, optimal battery life, optimal building penetration, and the ability to have a dedicated network with repeaters is why we found that the 900 megahertz range is the sweet spot and fits all the needs for our customers. When it comes to commercial grade wireless, always look for 900 megahertz, frequency hopping spread spectrum, repeaters, and a dedicated network.